Greetings, this is Gintian, and we are playing on the Kingdom Chronicles oh. server. As always, I want to help you enjoy watching or playing Minecraft oh. anywhere. If this is the first time on my channel and you want to get the most oh. out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click oh. on the bell so you know when I've produced videos. And here we are at my map. I have decided to move the map to a new location. It's now outside of the village proper, outside of the walls. Uh, it's expandable quite some distance in both directions. I have lots of room, and these are all the cows that I will need to make item frames. Now, the map goes further north, and which happens to coincide with north, uh, the way I'm facing now. It still goes, shows this village up here where I got my villagers. And if we go this way, we can follow it all the way down to Mir's base, which wasn't on the original map, the previous version. And if you go left or west you come to this second land bridge and now you're firmly in Looney's kingdom then I created a I zoomed out on them on the maps and created a version that you see here a lot easier to deal with smaller but you have to when you create zoom out on a map, you have to go revisit all of the area, or it does like this one. This map hasn't been fully displayed, so it just shows like this brown here. And when you place it down, it, you just see it as transparent. I zoomed out again to give a four to one ratio and I have this map, which is actually much easier to deal with. It goes all the way down to Looney's base and the different connections and land masses. Every time you zoom out on a map, you have to go revisit those areas. And that leads to some events. Uh, sometimes I don't forget to take a bed and I end up with myself stuck for the evening and usually I just pillar up and take target practice in fact let me show you a clip of that right now to have a very large concentration of iron golems. There must have been a mob or something here that got a hold of villager spook, because I count one, two, three, four, five, six iron golems all in the same screen. That's generally not good. Usually that means you've got you've lost some villagers if you get that many iron golems. I'll have to watch that. Night is falling, so I'll have to get to a bed, but I want 
show you some things that my collection of shulker boxes has gotten larger and worse. By saying worse, I mean organized in a haphazard way. I've made some changes down here. Now when you come down into this room, we can actually go up to this and this room has been expanded significantly. You can come get at it that way or if you just come into this room right here, this was just a single staircase going down and this is my storage system for the fishing. Some things have to be obviously be changed. This chest can't be in the middle, but it's full of stuff and I haven't had a chance to move it. This room is now much bigger. And I've expanded it in all directions. I want to put a storage system down here that I can finally organize my stuff. At least that's the plan. This is not the only thing I've been doing. There's the map making. There's the expansion of this room. There's also something I want to show you that's back at spawn. Let's go take a look at that. You remember this building at back at spawn. And I want to show you some stuff, work I've been doing on the inside. Down here. This now expands down into a room, which I have made quite large and worked on the floor. And if you come down here, you'll see what I mean. When I get down here, you see in the upper right hand corner, I'm in it, under the effect of a What is that sound? Can anyone tell me what that sound is? I'm under the effect of a beacon. And that's a haste beacon, so I can mine really quickly. When you go up to mine something, to see what I mean. After getting used to that, there's just no going back. Idea of mining out any place else without the power of a beacon is just obnoxious. And once I got started, I just kept going. This whole area, I haven't done the floors, but if you follow this around, this right here is one of the shops in the mall that Blue created. And you can hear the different, depending on where you are, we're under different areas of the mall. This is a large space. I haven't decided what to do with it. I'm get, probably going to open it up for anybody else that might want to use it. But I'll have to let the other people on the server know that it's here. and see what maybe we want to do with this large space. I know you're supposed to figure out what you're going to do with the space before you make it, but I had other reasons. I was actually gathering resources as well, and I was enjoying the beacon so much. I just kept going. But this is still a day or so's work. The other thing of note is that when you go back up here, going up all the way takes you back to the my base or my starter house, spawn house. If you come down this way, that's just a hole, you actually run into the corridor staircase that takes you. This is the 
community mine that ha is at uh, spawn as well. And I just can I just have this hallway that connects straight to it. But anyway, that's what's been keeping me busy. And that's all I really wanted to talk about today. It's been keeping me busy and that's all I've got to talk about. So I'm going to call this an episode and thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the update. See you next time and goodbye. It is so good to have a horse in the nether. It just makes going back and forth so much easier. This shouldn't take too long at all.